uh, was the focus on Ofcom. So we talk often, don't we, about their remits. Well, now streaming giants such as your Netflix and your Disney Plus and all the rest of it, uh, they are going to be set uh, to be regulated, if you like, by a new video on demand code. It will be drafted and enforced by Ofcom. Uh, this is all to do with the media uh, bill. What do you make to it? Is it the right move, the right step forward? No, I just think it's more nanny state, for heaven's sake. I mean, Ofcom's got about a 1,000 people already, and we, it's just more bureaucracy. Why do you need all this stuff? I mean, look at elsewhere in the developed world. I suspect m most of the streaming services in other developed nations, the US, Australia, are they really going to have these regulators? Why do you need it? Just in this sort of thing, surely let... Let the market dictate. But what do you want then? A wild west of broadcasting that anyone can literally stick anything well, we, out? Yeah, but hang on. But it seems to have worked quite well so far. I mean, no one's really been saying that Netflix have been doing all sorts of appalling stuff so far, have they? If, well, if you had it at all, it would have to be, in my view, very light touch. But this just seems to be more nanny state, more bureaucracy, more civil servants, more taxpayers coughing up the bills. Yeah, so these on-demand uh, programme services, they are um, subject to rules at the moment, but they're just not massively wide-reaching rules. So that is the conversation that they're trying to broaden out uh, the rules by which they are governed. Where are you on it, Scarlett? I, I mean, I, I just don't know. I'm, I'm, so, I, I'm not with Richard entirely. <laughs> We've I nearly do, agreed a couple I of times. I do believe in Ofcom. <laughs> but actually, I, 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 I mean, I, I get Netflix. I think it's fine. I mean, I, 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 I mean what I don't understand is, is, is where the danger is, particularly when, you know, the real danger surely is hardcore porn that children can get hold of. I mean, I have no idea how, but I mean, presumably it's very, very easy. So, so these programs that go out on Netflix, uh, that, that might be good, <clears throat> bad or indifferent, but I mean, actually they do have standards. Um, and I don't, th I, I really hate violence. Um, and I have not been subject to appalling violence without, I've not been subject to appalling violence. And I, and I presume there are warnings if there's too much sex or violence or profanity. I think that's but, fine. But where's parenting in all of this? Because your kid shouldn't be sitting there watching 18 uh, programmes, age 18 programmes or movies or all the rest of it on the telly. Yeah, and, exactly. and, 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 just... and, the, and the point is, Ofcom's not going to be able to control that. I mean, if a 14-year-old wants to click on the button and say, I'm 18... And, and then yeah, watch something. that's all you get asked. And, because that's all you get asked. And actually, I've actually got sort of personal family experience of something oh, similar it's all happening. Oh, it's, it's, all it's all coming out now. It's <laughs> blushing, ladies I am and actually, because well, literally one of my kids did exactly that and I learned my lesson. Did what? And well, they, they basically said they were whatever it was. I forget the exact age. No, he does not. He doesn't forget the no, details. No, he, he, he was an early teenager and he said he was 18 and that allowed him basically to watch something. And as a parent, you learn the lesson. You didn't realise this thing could be done. And yes, I mean, I do blush about it. I was furious with myself so having fallen for it. What do you think should have happened? Um, I don't I know. Mean, is the how honest do you answer. stop your 13-year-old from watching something that's difficult? I mean, because I know. I, I mean, I, my kids I, I think I recall, my I, password very fast. I, th I think I recall I find him for it. <laughs> <laughs> if your kids know, you weren't like what I'm going to say, but if your kids know your password, I think that's a failing on you. Why would you, if you've got a password to protect your stuff, it's whatever it is, why would you give that to your kids? Well, so that, so that I don't have to go in and sort out Netflix every time they turn it on. I mean, that's, that, that's what it is. It's, it's, it's just a, it's just a password so that they can get into it. But you see, I, I think, I do, I, I have two sides to this. I cannot bear some of the revolting hardcore porn that is available very easily online. I think it's appalling. Yeah, and, and that's I think not about lot. what we're talking... I mean, no, 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 I mean, no, no, no. I, yeah, abs I absolutely yeah. agree with you, and, and I think that that really does need to be stopped, and I think that's what the media bill... We should find ways of yeah. stopping, because your 13-year-old doesn't have to... Press a button. I mean, your 13 year old can just very quietly on his phone find hardcore. I th I th that's right. And it's frankly, I don't know how to do it, but it's far too easy. I'm yes, I, know. I don't know how and, to do it either. <clears throat> and, and that should be where the focus of it. Stop all that absolute nonsense. Yes. Here's the other thing about the likes of Netflix. I mean, they're big listed companies with boards of directors of serious people, whether it's here or in the US, and they don't want to be involved in any of this vile nonsense. So there's a, there's a self-control element there. The focus has got to be on the awful stuff that goes on you know, in the underworld. 
uh, of uh, of the online content. That's but, where the the appalling things are, are put okay, out. Okay, so something like Bridgerton, which which I, you might not have watched, I watched. Um, Lots and lots of steamy sex scenes. No hardcore porn. Really, I mean, it was how to enjoy sex, actually. It was great. This is tea time, by the way. Sorry. We're having but, these lovely but, conversations so what, about this content. Go on. So what do you, so what do, you do? I mean, who, who, who should and shouldn't be allowed to watch it? Right. I mean, I think that's where, that's where you get into your problems with Netflix, is, is should it be like films where, you know, it should be a 15, and then you still get your son saying, yeah, I'm 15. <laughs> I just think too many people want the government to step in and create all of these things because the adults don't want to take the tough parenting decisions. So what they want to do is, you know, I'll, I'll use your example as because you're sitting here. Oh, you know, son, there's my password because it makes life easier for me. I don't have to do this. I don't have to do that. But then you would expect the government to make sure that what's on there is fine. No, so actually, I, I don't but know. Actually, but actually, no, I think mean, neither of us are saying that. I, I mean, you're right, Michelle. Um, parenting, and bluntly, parenting is, it's hard, and we all learn our lessons. We all make mistakes and try not to make the same one again. But I think uh, the other thing is actually the tech devices themselves, whether it's the phones or the iPads, they surely should be able to pro be properly controlled so that you can dramatically reduce the access. But again, I guess that's, that's either a specific device for, for let's say, under 16s, or parents knowing how to turn on the controls. <laughs> or, yeah. I mean, I am really harsh, and I know people will write in and go, oh, does Michelle think she is? But it blows my mind at how young the kids are, that they're getting tablets and iPads and phones. I've got a little one, so yeah. I, when we go somewhere, I see so many families now, and it makes me a little bit sad. You know, when you go to a restaurant, I'm going off topic, but you, you go to a restaurant, and the family, all of and them, the, the first thing that they do is they, they give the little ones. But then then, the, then, then maybe you should have phones and tablets for for teenagers, where you can't access all this stuff. And, and so that that actually w would be the, the fastest, quickest way, easiest way. And is that what it. you're doing, Richard? Are you making sure that your teenagers can't well, access? My, my, mine are all, they're all now in their early and mid-20s, so right. it's, it's way but, too late. But, it's, but, 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 it, but I, think it's, I think it's incredibly problematic. And it's I, very I, problematic. I, I, look, I do agree with you. I mean, I remember sitting... <laughs> Sitting next on a plane, I do remember his name, Henry, because Henry was behaving very badly for about an hour, and then finally he was given an iPad, and he was quiet and doing stuff all the time. See, an aeroplane... very difficult. An aeroplane is probably one of the only occasions that I would let my child have, and it would be a cartoon or something, and that would be literally just to try and get him to go to sleep. I wouldn't. I would try my very best. I mean, I have done it on very rare occasions, but when we go out, it takes time and effort, and this is the problem. A lot of people don't have that time or they don't want to put the effort in, but I would put a bag together, and we have, like, I have, like, all different things, bits and bobs, that my little one can play with at the table and entertain himself and be distracted and engaged that's not a screen. Yeah. yeah. But maybe I'm, maybe I'm in a minority, maybe I'm old-fashioned, or maybe I'm preaching to other people how to parent their kids and people don't appreciate it. I'm sure I, you're doing I, I, I just think that you'll, people that you'll, you'll be giving inbox, parenting lessons. My inbox will be on fire. Who does that jubilee think she is? I'll never watch her again Absolutely. telling me I can't give my so, child so either, I can't you, get her off. You're either going to be head of justice or head of education. Well, that's <laughs> what I say. Look, if you all, no one voted me no, in. No.